Oh, yes. A good old cup of coffee always does a great job for me, giving me that smile and oomph to go forwards. But wouldn't it be nicer if we could enjoy that with someone else? Well, let's go and find out exactly that, how we can simply enjoy a cup of coffee right from our own homes, whilst the other person stays in their own house too. Coffee is good, isn't it? But it's always more enjoyable with social interaction, right? Well, all of that social interaction that we're used to in real life has been changing over the past year. A lot more things have gone online and that's why today's Guys Guides is going to focus on how you can use those tools in order to benefit from all of the online events that there are out there. Whether it's a book club, a tea party, a live wine tasting event, or just a simple conversation with your friends or family. Whatever it is, it's super simple. And we're going to walk you through the steps of how to join a Zoom conversation. And if you're even more ambitious and wish to host one, why don't you watch the next video to find out exactly how to do that too. So, first things first, in order to be part of the party, we need to be invited by the host. And in order to be invited by the host, they need to send us an invitation. Now the invitation will always come as an email from one of your friends or family or the person organising the event that you are attending. Remember the email will come from someone that you know and only click on the link if you know or expect to be receiving it. It will come in some way or shape or form that looks a bit like what you've got in front of you on the screen. The most important thing here is the actual link which we can use to click on to access the meeting or the call. When I click on it, it will open a new page. And do be patient because sometimes it can be slower than others. The first thing to do is click on launch meeting. And remember, some things that happen on the internet are unexpected, but don't get worried at that point. Let's just look for the solution. Here I clicked on launch meeting and nothing happened. But then I see down below that I can install Zoom if it's the first time I'm on Zoom. So I'm going to click on this button which says download now. The download will then start and will be stored on your computer so that you can use it. Once it's finished, we can then click and just follow the instructions. So I click on it and this will open up a new window. I can click continue here and then choose how do I want to install this software, which is for all users on this computer. I continue and then click install. Again, this may take some time, but let's just zoom forward to see the result. And there we go. It's now installed and I can click on close. So now that I've installed Zoom, I can now come back to my invitation to access the meeting. And I do that by clicking on the link again. When I click on the link, it prompts this little window to open that says open Zoom. And when I click on that, it then opens my Zoom that I've just installed. As you can see here, some hosts make sure that they accept people into their meeting. And this is the case now. So we need to wait for our host to let us into the call. And there we are, we're in. And look, who's joined us today? It's Mimi the cat. Now the first thing to do is click on join with computer audio so that everyone else in the meeting can hear us. When I click on that, I'm now into the meeting and other people can hear us. But you'll notice up here that no one can see me as my name here is displayed and so my camera isn't on. I can also see that by scrolling down to the bottom here and I notice this little red line across the video. So I just need to click on this to start my video and now I can see myself up in the top here. If I want to stop the video or turn off the sound because I need to have a conversation with someone else who's in the room, but Mimi the cat or whoever's on the conversation doesn't need to hear or see what I'm doing, I can also turn off my microphone and my video. And I just do that by clicking again on the microphone to turn off my microphone and then on the camera to turn off my camera. And that means that no one can see or hear me anymore, but I can do whatever else I need to do whilst also following the call. 
Now at the moment all we can see is one person. But if we want to see everyone who's on the call, because maybe you're on the call with two other friends and you want to see them both at the same time, then we can click on this view and here we have two options. Either speaker, which means I see one person at a time and it is the person who's speaking who I see, or gallery. And when I click on gallery, I can now see both of the people on the call. Mimi the cat and myself. Oh, but look, my camera isn't on. So I can turn my camera on and then I can turn on my microphone so that the cat can hear me. And there we go. We're in a conversation together and enjoying that social interaction. Although it is a cat at the end of the day. So now I've finished my very rich conversation with the cat and she's already fallen asleep unfortunately. So I clearly am not that interesting. Anyway, now that the meeting has finished or even if I want to leave early, the final thing that we need to do is look at the leave button down here at the bottom. When I click on that, that means that I will quit the meeting. I can always come back if I need to by clicking on the invitation link again. But when I click on this red button, it asks me again and I click on leave meeting. And there we go. I have finished the meeting now and I'm no longer able to talk to whoever was on the call. So there you have it. The first section of Guy's simple guide on how to use Zoom in order to interact with other people right from our own homes whilst the other person stays at home too. If you use an iPad or a tablet, don't worry if the buttons are in slightly different places. It's a very similar process, but we've prepared a small mini video series for you too, to show you exactly how to do it on your iPad or tablet. And if you're even more ambitious and wish to host your own event or call so that others can join you too, watch the next video to find out exactly how to host your own Zoom conversation.